Right now, there's a lot of talk about the new Harry Potter series that's coming out on HBO Max. And as a huge fan of the franchise, I am going to come out and say, not only am I not going to watch it, I'm going to straight up condemn anybody who brings this up or talks about it at all or thinks that this is going to be something special or something worth seeing because it isn't, right? I'm not going to be a George R. R. Martin-style cocksucker where I just sit there and be like, well, uh, the show fell off after season four, but I'm going to get excited about House of the Dragon anyway. There's no way they would do it. Uh, they would screw it up again. You know, I'm not going to do that because that goes completely against my values. I have always been an advocate for actually appreciating quality works, right? I am not just going to consume products just because they exist. And considering Harry Potter, I have never seen any of the later Harry Potter films, right, uh, more than once. Because most of them were complete garbage, which already deviated significantly from the source material. And everything I've seen from HBO seems to indicate that they have no intention of actually making a true, faithful adaption of the books. And I suppose that's what we really need to be advocating for at this at this point, is that I don't want a Hollywood-fied version of Harry Potter. Right, I want a straight up adaption of what happens in the books. If you can't do that, if you're not going to do it, get the fuck out. Okay, that's kind of my feelings on this. And I do need to preemptively come out and say that, like, I don't care what J uh, J.K. Rowling says about the product. I don't care if she co-signs this because she's proven herself to be a complete and total fraud, right? She is completely willing to do anything she possibly can to push her woke agenda, even if it doesn't make sense in the established books, right? Rowling is a joke. Needs to be said, needs to be acknowledged. You know, I know the tranny thing is going to be what she's remembered for, but uh, we must not forget that 95% of her politics are complete just left-wing lunacy, okay? She is a woke advocate, right? She is an example of everything wrong with feminism and why we need to get rid of women's rights, right? She is a complete joke. If she had any respect for her brand at all, she would be – she would not have sold out to begin with, right? She wouldn't have allowed the play to get produced. She wouldn't have allowed that video game to be produced, right? Uh, you know, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the the movie sequels, right? You know, all of this has been a complete and total train wreck to the point where I really – find myself really skeptical, like, asking myself, like, who cares about future Harry Potter-related products, right? Because there's really nowhere for the story to go. Uh, nobody involved has any real talent whatsoever. Like, I can tell you with 100% certainty that I could do better than everything uh, – than anything these people are coming up with. Actually, I am doing better, right? And uh, hopefully at some point I'll be able to uh, – I don't know. Uh, produce something Harry Potter related. I would love to do that. But like, as it comes to when, when it comes to like what's being produced now, when it comes to like what the what the what the SJWs are doing, what uh, Max is doing, what what all these like, I can't imagine that a single person is going to uh, find any, th there's going to be anything of value in what's going to come out of this, right? It's just going to be a complete train wreck. And everybody keeps talking about, like, mawokeness, but I, I do think even if it was a faithful adaption, even if this was a good recreation of the books, like, I, again, we already have the movies, right? Like, again, why are you rebooting a franchise that at its core really fundamentally doesn't need to be rebooted, right? It's just a cash grab. And, like, when you really think about it, when you look at something like, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Super, which, to my knowledge, has no woke a aspects at all, uh, no woke aspects about it at all, like, again, I said the same thing, is that, like, it's just a cash grab, right? There's no passion behind it. There's no creativity. Like, it's essentially just a rehash 
of what we've gotten before with no real heart, with no real like natural organic growth. Uh, you know, a series that just exists because its audience ha hasn't been able to move on to anything else because all they want to do is just sit and consume Dragon Ball all day, right? And I like Dragon Ball, right? I have nothing but respect for Dragon Ball when it was good, but there does need to be this, like, this feeling in general, uh, this understanding among general audiences is that people are not consuming, like, a well-thought-out, cohesive story. They are consuming a product, right? They are, they are just, like, they aren't thinking about what's happening at all. They're not thinking about, like, uh, the story as a whole, right? They're just consuming episode after episode of episode after episode of Goku just fighting stronger and stronger opponents with like no real, with no real evolution, with no real sense of of real character growth, with with no real meaning or heart behind it, right? Like it's just a corporate product, and and to me. I think uh, one of the things I really strongly believe about like most franchises today is that they are products, right? They aren't designed to have an ending, right? They aren't building up to anything. They're just products for people to consume, right? You know, Marvel films will keep getting made, right? There is never a point in which everything in Marvel just kind of works out. Like, nope, like some new villain comes up and they just they just fight and there's no real like – there's no real stakes to it because you know not only how it's going to end, but what's going to happen next. It's just going to be this endless uh, endless cycle of the same thing over and over and over again. And that's what people want, right? Uh, they want to be complacent. They want to know what's going to happen next. They want to feel like as if they're like uh, smart, sophisticated, intelligent people by just – by just knowing a lot about the Warhammer 40k universe or Marvel or Harry Potter or whatever, right? You know, that's their entire identity is just revolving around consuming these brands and not actually enjoying and appreciating it for what it is, right? It is simply just a product to be consumed. It has no real, like, value outside of that. It, it, it is – it's disgusting, and Harry Potter is a really interesting situation because I think the real actual fans, you know, fans of the books have moved on a long time ago, right? You know, because I've always been an advocate for, uh, you know, reading new things and experiencing new stories and, and discovering new creators and uh, enjoying things, right? Like, again, that's what you should be doing, but – it's kind of a thing among a lot of like lesser people, right? Uh, people in the audience to like only care about Harry Potter, to only want to read Harry Potter to the point where like even normies have noticed, right? Like, you know, it was a meme a while back, like read another book. And it's true that came about in response to like the, uh, you know, people using Harry Potter to push woke agendas like 10 years ago. But there really is a lot of truth in that, in that I don't feel as if most Harry Potter fans really read a whole lot outside of uh, that series or like, you know, a tangential, like a similar series that became popular around the same time. Things like Percy Jackson and Twilight and stuff like that. Like, Harry Potter is great for what it is, but there are other good books out there too. And when you really take that into account, right, like consuming Harry Potter products, at, uh, you know, not written by Rowling, who are just completely just – that are just complete – just complete train wrecks that are that are essentially just bad fan fiction, right? Like when you look at that, like why would you ever even bother being invested, right? Why would you care about the Fantastic Beast movies? Why would you care about the play? Why would you care about the this HBO Max series, right? Because even outside of the woke aspects of this, you know, even outside of that particular thing. There is absolutely 100% no way, no chance that this series will be good, even if it is adapting the book series, because that material has already been adapted, right? 
unless it was 100% accurate to the books, which I can 100, 100% guarantee not going to happen. Like, I would have no interest in this series whatsoever. 